Well, good afternoon. Welcome back to Shaving with Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy. How y'all today? It's uh, Friday afternoon. My regular weekend to work, so getting that kicked off on a Friday afternoon. Stormy Friday afternoon, actually. It's that time of year where we get those afternoon storms popping up. Nothing new at all. So today, going to be a lather catcher day, which is always a good thing. And uh, we're going to use our good old, about a 1900 model Superior razor here. This head design is about the same as the uh, 1907 gym that we have. Um, so they used this head design for a while, but this is a Superior. It's got the nice uh, scroll work on the back there, if you can see that. And uh, really, a, really a nice razor. I was digging around and I've still got some of the body shop for men before they made the change to the Maca root or make a root or Maca root, well, whatever they changed it to. Personally, I don't think it was a good change. I, re I remember not liking it as much. Still a good shave cream. I, I won't say it's not. Uh, it's also something you can get local, which is always a bonus. You go down to the body shop for men in the mall and you can buy shave cream. So that's a bonus. But, uh, I think the old formula was better. It's more of a sandalwood uh, scent to it, and even though this is an older, uh, an older cream, it still is a cream in the tub and, and uh, still got a great scent to it. So we're going to use that. Uh, we're going to finish up today. Someone had mentioned online Bay Rum the other day. Hold that thought just one second for me. Oh, that's good. So. Uh, I'm going to use a little bay rum today. This is the, uh, cost, the Clubman Virgin Island Bay Rum um, that we've got. And we got to have a brush, right? Technically, you don't have to, but this is traditional wet shaving, so we use a brush. And uh, the V-Long uh, horse brush is going to go for today. And uh, some people talk about horse brushes being floppy, not having backbone, it depends on which one you have. This particular brush is not that floppy, it has plenty of backbone, it's a whole lot like a bore. And uh, I really like that personally, I'm a, I'm a fan of the bore. So bear with me just a second, we'll add a little more water to the sink here. And as we go along, more hot water. I don't worry about heating it up, I know I've seen some people that would have uh, use an electric pot or something to heat water up and want it hot 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 and I, what comes out of the hot water tank is great for me and uh you know i'm just not a cold water shaver we've discussed that if you shave with cold water great a lot of people do a lot of people do a lot of silly things but that's okay so we're just going to load some cream right out of the tub uh I've always kind of liked that now you can of course scoop it out and put it on your face like we do a cream out of a tube Works great, and uh, I know bowl lathering. People just kind of scoop a little bit out and they put it in a bowl and they go to the lathering. You know, I think bowls are great. Use them all the time for soup. Here we go. All right, so we got us some cream on our brush. We got our face washed off. I have always liked this cream. And come to think of it, I've got another tub of this around. I should probably use it more often. One of these days, it's probably going to not be so good. But right now, and I don't remember when they discontinued this stuff, but uh, it's been several years ago that they discontinued it and came out with a new formula. A new formula is a blue tub or blue tube, as I recall. Like I said, it's not bad. It's a good cream, and it has the bonus of being able to be gotten local. I'm not much on the scent. And uh, a lot of people tout, you know, the skin care of the product and that kind of stuff. And I don't know. I kind of got cast iron skin, I guess. I don't worry about skin care. Maybe if I did worry about it, I'd be a little better off. I don't know. We're not going to find out. But if you'll notice there, it does a really good job. Make it a ladder. Got us some swirling going on here. We're adding that last little bit of water. Look at that, what happened. Boy, we got us a good 
Don't get much better than that, I'm telling you. Plenty of backbone to the to the horse brush. There's no issues with backbone there. Not for that brush. Now that being said, if you'll recall, I've got the cheap Chinese horse knot that I put into a uh, vintage handle, and it is fairly floppy. It, it doesn't have a lot of backbone, but it still lathers great. So, you know, a lot of times if you have problems with a brush, it's not what it's made out of, it's how it's made, it's how it's set. If it's set it a little bit deeper, you get, you know, more backbone to it, and uh, this, that, and the other. So this already had a treat blade in it, and I wasn't sure how uh, how old the uh, blade was. Typically speaking, if a blade's ready to go, I don't leave it in a razor, so. I'm pretty sure it'd be okay, and I'm right. It's a good sharp blade. We'll come on us here. Come back up. We'll use our thumb at the end of our sideburn to be sure we're not cutting off sideburn that we don't want to. All right. Lionel Richie singing all night long. I'll be doing that tonight. Not singing like Lionel Richie, but working all night long. Gotta love it. Oh, very nice cream. So, uh, I was reading another post the other day, and someone mentioned uh, about using the cold water to close the pores up after a shave. And of course, that kind of caused a little, a little rant. Just a little thing about pores. There's no such thing at all no such thing as pores opening and closing it is not possible for pores to open and close there is no mechanism there is no muscle sitting there opening and closing the pores so you always had this old wife's tale of using the hot rag to put on your face and opening the pores up and getting everything ready to shave and whatnot and then when you get finished you use the cold water and it closes the pores up and it doesn't happen that way at all and warm water will soften your skin and make your skin feel better and everything i will agree with that and cold water will tighten the skin up has to do with the blood flow I imagine something like that but it does not open and close your pores doesn't happen can't happen I run into that argument every once in a while with the cold water shavers and uh, you know hot water opens your pores up and it makes your skin more susceptible to irritation and it makes your skin more susceptible to the burns and Yada yada, whatever. Well, it doesn't. And warm water will make your skin slacker. I could see that. You know. And maybe that, if you're not doing good skin stretching, uh, could contribute to irritation and things. I think usually irritation can be contributed to the way you use your equipment, personally. That is a personal thought. Technique trunks tools, so. With good technique, you shouldn't have to worry too much about irritation anyway. And that being said, a lot of people I know that have been doing this a long time, and friends of mine like cold water shaving. And it's great. You know, knock it out. But, uh, whatever. Oh, an aqua velvet ad. I think it was an aqua bell ad, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Uh, someone had posted, and it was talking about you use plenty of hot water to start with, soap in a mug, any mug will do, working into a good lather, shave with a sharp blade, and rinse with cool water, and then use an aftershave like aqua bella. So when they said it activated like aqua bella, aqua bella, yes, in tone. I didn't even think it was probably an Aqua Velva commercial or a Williams or something. Could be Williams. But, uh, so yeah. A little cool water rinse. 
by the time I finish shaving, most of the water I rinse off with is going to be it's still going to be warm in the in the sink, and to me that does the best job. You shower in warm water because the soap works better. So it seems to me that warmer water, cleaning the soap off your face and cleaning your face up would be better than cooler water. You know, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. Make any sense to anybody? It won't to some people, but that's okay. And I'm not a dermatologist or skin care scientist or anything. Just an old redneck likes to shave. Alrighty, so we've gotten through our two passes while we've been talking. Have a really nice razor. See, I've got so many nice razors to go through that sometimes things get neglected. I don't know how long it's been since I've used this Superior. But it's been a little while. Alrighty. Get a little witch hazel going here for our cleanup pad. And this is just generic witch hazel. We've got some newer folks that have subscribed. I appreciate that. People keep subscribing and coming in and coming over to the original safety two. And uh, things go really well. So over to original safety two. Could I always mention that in my videos because that's a big part of my shaving life. Um, we still got the, the YouTube PIF going on. Pretty nice stuff. There's actually some uh, vintage William soap up for grabbing that one. So if uh, if you're here and you haven't been over to the original safety too, come over and see us. I'm going to leave it open for a while for folks to enter. There's also a separate PIF going on. It's for a pretty nice looking 1912 uh, Junior, I think. And uh, you need to check into that. Good old Jim Junior over there. Not the lather catcher Jim Jr., not the Junior Bar, but just a regular 1912. Nice looking little razor there. So come over and see us sometime if you want to get into some uh, single edge and injector stuff, or if you're already into it. We'd be happy to see you around. So there we go. Two passes, a good touch up. What about a 1900 Superior razor and a treat blade? The original body shop for men shave cream. It's good stuff. Again, if you want to go get the uh, the current made formula, I'd say go for it. It's not a bad cream. I've shaved with it here recently. It probably will again before too long. As I roll through this amazing amount of soaps and creams I have. I don't know how many I have. I need to count one day and get some pictures of all this stuff. Ooh, love a bay rum. I'll put them up in the hair and everything. Boy, it's got a good feel to it. The Virgin Island Bay Rum. It's good stuff. You should try it out sometime. All right, well, I'm going to get ready for work. Y'all have a good day. Thank you for stopping by with shaving with Fuzzy. And uh, if you get a chance, get your lather catcher. These things are great. Put a carbon steel blade in it. If you're one of these people that just like the stainless steel blades because you don't like drying the blades and that kind of stuff, use a stainless steel blade. But uh, these old ladder catchers are just, just good stuff. All right, you're good stuff too. Happy shaves to you, and we'll see you later.